So this is Warehouse Inc. It's a very interesting game. Um, right here, I've played the first level of the game, and I just wanted to share it to you guys. Um, it's a cool, interesting game. You can find it right here on Steam. Um, right now, it's got a sale. It should be like $5, but I think the normal game is $10. Um, but it's a very interesting game. So the premise of this is you walk around and you're supposed to organize these boxes while you have receiving boxes coming out at the same time and these boxes are assigned a number um, that constantly rotates every delivery request um, called the box order. Um, you can see there as I scan boxes I have um, which for this, I didn't really illustrate it because this isn't really a tutorial to play the game. I mean, you can pick it up. It's a pretty easy game to play. Um, it's really fun with friends, um, but my friends aren't on, so I don't have footage of that. Um, but it is very interesting, and I wanted to share it. Um, but if you see here, as I'm organizing the boxes, it's a, it's just pretty interesting. Um, I'm also outside while recording this, and I just had a bug fly on my face. Anyways. It is pretty pretty fascinating um, but no just watch some of the footage um, currently this game has no reviews and it's just a solo indie developer um, but it's a very interesting game I recommend you try it out anyways enjoy delivery request.
I'm actually the most overpaid Amazon worker right now. So that's Warehouse Inc. Um, right now it is going to die down. It always dies down. The missions are like about as long as this video. It's a little bit over like 10, 15 minutes long. I highly suggest you try out the game, especially while it's on sale. I wouldn't necessarily call it a $10 game, but while it's on sale for $5, it's not bad. Definitely try it with friends. Single player is also fun. Um, but... I do gotta say there have been bugs and uh, recently they actually fixed multiplayer that was one of my biggest issues is multiplayer did not work if you didn't live um, near the same server as you were connecting to in the game um, but the developer fixed it within like a week after I reached out to them um, so it's pretty good they have a discord um, it looks like they're trying to build a community um, so that's that's amazing um, so, other than that, I would just say try out the game and then go from there, and then that'd be pretty good.